Hey you guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be doing a review on a wig that I purchased from AprilLaceWigs.com and um, I really, really, really am so excited about it. I've had it for almost a week now because you guys, when I first got it last week, I got off of work and I was so excited to open it up and I put it on and one, I noticed the knots weren't bleached and I specifically requested that the knots be bleached. And two, the lace color was like super, super light, like it was gray. And I'm a person of color. My scalp isn't gray. My scalp is like a light brown, maybe a dark brown. But those are the two issues that I noticed first off the back. And I was just like, oh, I don't know if I should turn it back in or not. Because I want the lace to look as realistic as possible and the knots aren't bleached. So I decided to turn it back in. But when I got to the post office, I found out that shipping it would be like almost $80 to $90 plus the $20 that I was going to use for the value. So that's like easily a hundred some odd dollars. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to try to make the wig work. Um, that's why you see I have it in this box right here. Um... It didn't come like this originally. It originally came in a DHL bag like this and had all the stuff in there. Uh, with my order, I got a wig stand. Um, I'll probably insert a picture somewhere. I don't know. A wig stand and it came with um, wig caps. If I could get y'all. came with a um, wig cap and it's actually flesh tone wig caps because you know how you always get the black one or like the super, super light one? Well, this one was actually like this color um, skin skin cap and I'm so excited about that because I've never seen those before I always see the black one or the really really light ones and yeah that's pretty much what it came in on that bag and this is the box because I was going to ship it off but then I decided nah because I'm cheap my strength my money's looking strange and my money's looking funny honey yes but anyways this is the actual box right here it says April sorry the window is making a glare maybe I should close the window it says April Lace Wigs, um, high quality, low prices. And actually, that is so true, you guys, because um, the wig that I got was is similar, mimicking African-American hair texture after it's blown out. And um, I've been looking all over the place to find something similar to African-American hair texture. And I found some, but they were, like, extremely priced. And I was like, ah, ah, ah. I got a new job and everything, and it's paying good money. But I don't know if I want to spend that. You know, I'm being kind of stingy. So I came across this website. I've been looking at, um, actually, um, at this wig for, like, a year. And um, I finally got money to buy it. So I purchased it, and it was, like, only 260 some odd dollars um, So, yeah. I was really excited about this so this is the box that it came in back so I'm opening it up now all right so this is the hair and inside the box it comes with the instruction manual I guess how to care for it just fall just fall box okay you're not gonna fall um, on how to care for your full lace wig it's a little pamphlet tells you how to wash it all that jazz pretty much common sense for the most part this is the hair it comes in like a little knit cap so I'm going to figure out how to take this knit cap off oh lord okay all right so I'm taking the knit cat off knit cat <laughs> knit cat <laughs> knit cap off all right and this is the hair it has stuffing on the inside of it now I said I got this hair from now I need the, I need the light, the light. <laughs> but anyways, this is the hair. You can see it's very textured, but even though it's so textured looking, it's super, super soft. So I didn't have a problem with the hair texture. Um, as you can see, I didn't cut off the lace yet. It has um, two combs right here, a set of combs at the bottom, actually four sets of combs at the bottom, one right, two sets right here, and another set right there, and then the the jaw draw strings right here, where you um can lift up and you know pull them and put them in the little slits. So in total, it's six combs. They don't have a comb in the middle. Um, it's a full lace wig, and um the deets of this wig. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even give you the deets. You probably like, girl. So what's the deets? Please tell us. The deets of this wig is um Indian Remy. Wait, what? 
India Remy 16 inches. The color is 1B and the texture is Italian Yaki and the cap is small, glueless full lace. And um, when I, I, I highly recommend that when you're ordering this, if you're my color or darker, I definitely recommend that you get dark brown lace because I got medium brown lace because for other wig companies that I purchased my full lace wigs, I just got medium brown because I'm not that dark and my scalp isn't that dark. So I wouldn't expect, you know, some super light transparent lace. But um, yeah, the, the scalp lace is really super, super light. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, it's not showing up well on here, but um, it's super light and it doesn't look realistic at all. And then the knots aren't bleached and I specifically, as I stated before, I specifically requested that my knots be bleached. So when I put it on, it doesn't really look real. But other than that, other than the lace color and the knots being bleached, this hair is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, it looks really realistic. Actually, I lied. The only thing, another thing that I don't like, at the roots, it's really straight, and then everything else is like a kinkier texture. I don't know if you can see, like, right here is straight, and then it comes kinky. So, I mean, if anything, I would imagine the roots be kinky, and then the rest of it be straight. But um, they didn't process it all the way through, as you can tell. It's obvious. But other than that, I really do like it. So on a skin, a skin, a scale between 1 and 10, and 10 being the highest I give like a 7.5 or an 8, 8 and a quarter, <laughs> I don't know, 7.5, 8-ish range um, because of the lace, which was my fault, I should have just went darker lace, but no, I was just basing off of other wigs, and um, the knots being bleached, which isn't my fault because I requested them to be bleached, but they weren't, but um, other than that, I love this wig, I'm going to um, put it on, so I'm going to snatch off this wig right here and put this one on, slip this one on, and I'll be back. Alright, so right here you guys, I am showing you a close-up of the full lace wig. Um, as you can see, it has a really natural hairline. It has some dips and grooves in it, which is good. And I'm showing the baby hairs. Yay, baby hairs. But um, yeah, I'm just showing you how the hair looks and where it stops at on me. It stops like right below my chest. And for some weird reason, you guys, for this camera, the, the lace is showing up really realistic. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know, but in real life, it doesn't look like that. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to be showing you the um, portable foldable wig stand and then I'm just going to be starting to cut the lace off starting with the um, cutting off the tag. So I'm just going to um, place the hair up. I'm going to pin it back with one of my um, ducktail clips and to make sure that none of the baby hairs or the hair gets caught up while I'm trying to cut off the lace around the perimeter of my head. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't really cut off all the lace. I just did the bare minimum so I could just see how it looks. But um, yeah, I need to go back and, you know, to be the more defined and meticulous with cutting the lace off. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm over there fooling around with it, trying to see different styles that I can do to it. Um, it looks really good. I, I like it. I like it a lot, you guys. And the hair texture is just like really wonderful, 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 wonderful. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is it. After I cut off the lace, it looks so natural, you guys. Like, it's crazy. And I still have some lace that I need to cut off. Um, I know I said that in other footage. But um, it looks so natural, like. And it's so soft. Like, amazingly soft. I love it. So... I guess I would recommend someone to purchase it. Just make sure that you get the lace color right and make sure that they bleach your knots. Um, I know the email that I got from the um, April Lace Wigs, they were saying that they can't bleach all the knots because that will like induce shedding all over the um, the wig, which we don't want because actually shedding is minimum with this wig. But um, they were like, we can do the front lace, I mean the front part of the wig, we can um, bleach those knots, but everywhere else we wouldn't recommend it. So, but other than that, I think I can, you know, work with this. So I'm glad I didn't ship it back. I can, you know, put like a little concealer underneath it to like diminish my knots colors, or I might even bleach them. Now nah, I'm not going to bleach them. I'm not going to take the risk. I'm not that fancy when it comes to, you know, hair dyeing and all that stuff. So. I don't know, but I actually really like it. It looks very natural, like very, very natural looking. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. It looks really good. I like it. My dad was actually like, that's your hair? And I was like, no, daddy, my hair's not that long. 
uh, no, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I actually like it, it looks really good, so, um, I'll leave all the deets about the unit in the, um, description bar below, I'm gonna try to see if I can flat iron it, but, really, I have another wig that's straight, so if I want to have a, a sleek, straight look, I'll wear that wig, um, but I really like this, it looks really like ethnic hair, hair texture, it's amazing, but yeah, I'll leave all the deets down below. Um, yeah, so if you purchase it, please let me know too. And be like, yeah, her girl, this wig is fly. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. The price of this wig was um, 260 some odd dollars. I'll leave that in the description bar down below as well. Um, but I got 16 inches. I think the least, the least inch you could get, the lowest inch you could get is 14 inches. And I think it goes up to like 22 or something. But yeah, um, yeah, so comment, like, and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more videos, definitely subscribe. So I know that, oh, y'all want to see more videos. But um, yes, you guys, I'm loving this. So yeah, check out aprillacewigs.com. And yeah.